One of the keys to stopping the coronavirus is tracking it, and more important than ever, tracking fast spreading variants. Tonight, on this hour 18, a CBS2 investigators exclusive. Yeah, that's right, Erica. We are the only ones to go inside the new lab where scientists are working to detect, monitor, and learn about the variants that are showing up here. That group of scientists working at Rush University Medical Center. Here's CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey. We're getting one of the first looks at a lab inside Rush University Medical Center that's poised to play a huge role in the fight against COVID-19. Digging into those big questions, including which strains of the virus are spreading fastest and where. But these are what we would call like hot specimens. Dr. Mary Hayden and her team of scientists at Rush have been working on COVID testing for nearly a year. It's quite a um, quite an automated instrument, so there's a little bit of um, handling involved. Which includes securing this state-of-the-art machine that can analyze dozens of COVID samples at once. We needed to really increase the volume of COVID testing that we were doing. But now they're also going to be collecting positive samples from all over the city. It, it will reveal a, like a unique pattern, a unique fingerprint of the virus that will then allow the city, um, in collaboration with the laboratory, to answer um, several different questions. Rush was awarded a $3.5 million contract to create the Regional Innovative Public Health Laboratory, also known as Ripple. Dr. Stefan Green is leading the project. So we certainly want to know which strains are here. To tackle some big topics, number one, virus variants. We know that they're here, but are they driving the outbreaks that we see? If we see infection rates rising, are those associated with new variants or is it just people aren't wearing masks? Number two, vaccine effectiveness. So if we start seeing infection after vaccination, we'll want to know, is there something different about the virus? Number three, reinfection. If you get COVID once, can you get reinfected? Or is it just the same strain was hanging out in your body the whole time and it was at a very low level? And even COVID-19's origins. How did we get to where we are now? Rush will be adding to their already massive stockpile of frozen COVID-19 samples. Um, on the eighth floor of this building and a bunch of freezers. In the hopes of providing invaluable data about the spread of COVID-19 in the city of Chicago and insight on how to stop it. The data that these scientists are gathering is shared publicly and could be used to tweak COVID-19 vaccines or other precautions over time. The new Rush facility also could be used to surveil other viruses when this pandemic is finally over. At Rush University Medical Center, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.